Hello YouTube fans, here again. Now remember when I said I was going to do Daros the Daros films? Why not? Why not? With this film, I can bloody find where I put it. Just bear with me. It's right over there. Here it is. Daros the Daros, as you can see there. Yep, this film here. From my mate, Daros the Daros. The director. Now this film, shot in 1975, is shot under two titles. That's right, two titles. It's called Perfectly Rose and it's also called G Red. And yep, this is a good one. Again, da da da. It has two titles, Perfectly Rose and G Red. And it's a dudden. It's a dudden. It's more of a murder and mystery there, and it kind of reminds me a bit of um, Just to Kill with a bold brother. Now, there's a few bloody scenes in it. It starts off where you see a little boy and he sees a guy getting killed, but there's more to that story. And it's also a little bit here, the little boy. And then it cuts a couple of years later, you've got the main character here, and he witnesses this horrible murder there of a woman. Now, this woman's basically a psychic who senses things. That's right. And I always remember the music. It's sad they can't get away with playing the music. That's one thing with Dallas to Dallas's films, whether it be Suspiria or it would be G Red. Now this film has two edited versions. It has this version and it has G Red combined the depth of. But the only down it is parts of the version it's dubbed well it's not even in dubbed, it's in English. Bits of it's dubbed and bits of it's in phonon. So you're there thinking, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, there's no subs in it. But I do know there was a version where it was in subtitle, but the version I've got, it isn't. So there's bits where the music will alter, and there's bits where they're talking phonon, and there's bits where they're talking in English. So it's like, but again, I love the music. There's a bit of music in it, it's just the same. I can't play it, you know, copyright and all this. But the music, the music in this is brilliant it's just brilliant fucking music and yeah it was in the days of the video nasty but it's a dudden again sort of 1975 cheap red or perfect rolls as has two titles i can say you, you've got the opening you see a little lad which is a murder and then you've got one die and he's especially you've got an idea he cheats his music he's a music cheater and you've got this woman in the other room who Basically, a psychic, she reads palms and she senses one of the women who's had a murderer there. She goes ape. Then, cut the story short, halfway through the film, she gets killed. Yep, she gets killed. And if you've seen the actors before, make up another video on Nasta. Gold, The Last Chain to Murder. I remember reviewing it. Yep, the Late Chain Murder, it was called, sorry. Yep, the Late Chain Murder. She was the bits what got away with murder. Have to say, she does get murdered in this. I was looking at it like maybe she got murdered. Yeah, she's, I know she's playing a different character. And it's basically, she's not actually like evil in real life. It's only the character she was playing. But she's in this and she does get a trump and she gets a, definitely gets to do some death. Where her face goes through the fucking window, the neck gets stabbed in the dudlet. It's always a bit there. And our main character sees it, he witnesses it, and he goes in, finds a body, all cut up. And I do love the bits where it's also so it's sort of like it's hard to explain, but if you've ever seen Deep Red, it's sort of on set. I shit you not, it is all shot on set. It's a very stylish, a very chic murder mystery film. And that's what it is, it's a murder mystery film. He he reports the murder. Um he has a dirt in it, who you got an idea of fantasy him and funny enough. It's been a lot of Dallas to Dallas's films. There's not been one film I've not seen where the axis, I can't see it is, not in the picture cover. Oh, there's a little bit there. The axis has always been in beam out of his films, the director, I should say. But it's a good one. It's like I say, it's a murder mister there. It's it's everything. And I like it for that. So he goes to coppers, you know, and she's basically then the dad gets obsessed with trying to solve this murder, this poor woman. 
you do get another murder in it and I always wonder, always wonder if a con carpenter saw Deep Red. Remember when I was reviewing Halloween 2? There's a similar murder in this where this one woman, right, um, she gets whacked on the head by the killer and she gets her head dipped in hot water. I do admit though it's a lot more graphic and a lot more brutal in this, but I always wonder whether John Tarpenter, who did Halloween 2, saw this film. Because when you see the scene where a nurse gets her face burnt in Halloween 2, what's this? It had to have been taken off this, because it's a similar murder in this, where a poor woman gets her face dipped in boiling water, gets her face badly burnt, and obviously dies, so the wind just left open, she dies of pneumonia. There's a bit of it racist down and write the name of the killer, but I've always found that scene, you've got to just cut it, because it's a race, really. Because what happens is, the guy in it, who's down, who's basically obsessed and down to solve this murder, his mate taps his on, right, he sees it, but then he gets fucking killed, so it's like, well, that was fucking pointless. But it's still a good, gruesome scene, and I was wondering whether, like I say, John Tarpenter saw this. Deep red, because it's very similar to the fucking murder in it. It's definitely a vicious and brutal scene, but when you think about it, you get about one or two three do some death scenes. You do get a bit of cootie to animal where you get a little dirt, it kills an insect. I think she kills a lizard. She gets a slap by her dad. <laughs> Don't get away with that with movies nowadays. But I love it. I love deep red. It's stylish. It's sleek. It's a stylish murder mystery who done it. And I really, really don't want to dip away the ending. But if you've never seen Deep Red back in 1975, you've missed out on a damn good hidden gem. Because all the way through the film, right, we think that the guy's mate is the killer. You think he's the killer. And he gets killed by accident. Because what happens is, right, the police come in. Well, he's down to solve the murder. Um, but for all that, it goes to this old building, right, and it's all abandoned. Love the way the music's sort. It's like an old building, and it's an old house. So when he goes in, he breaks. He finds his piece, the board, what's hidden. He breaks in and he finds a dead body. Our main character finds a dead body, and that's when it goes to the story. Remember when I just said the beginning? It's also a little boy, and he sees a murder. The little boy here. Well, he actually only witnessed his dad getting murdered. He witnessed his dad getting murdered. So his mate, right, thinks that his mate is the murderer. It's always fine funny because his mate was stood next to him at the same time and he witnessed that poor woman getting fucking murdered. So his dear friend gets stabbed, but I'm assuming she lifts. He goes in, right, Dad's get his mate, his mate runs off, but accidentally gets stabbed by a truck. Because by accident, a truck is driving a toss. He hits a bit of a bar that holds his leg, drags him, bashes his head in a few times, hits the road, another car comes, beautiful scene, turns to die his head into fucking muss. And like I say, you think he's the murderer. Now I'm going to do what I normally going to do. Spoil us. Turned out it wasn't him who was the murderer. It was his fucking mum. His mum was the one that murdered her husband, she went off her head and she started killing anybody who she would expect would expect her for when she killed her husband. She tries to kill our main character, who's him, um, but by accident, when she's trying to stab him, she gets a necklace stuck on a lift. You don't see it, but you've got the idea that she gets her head, she gets her head, ripped off you see a pail of blood you see our main guy stood there it pauses and you got that beautiful bit of music end of mover and i love deep red i love it i mean it's to me this is a murder mystery film there's a bit of blood and door in it but it's not it's not too in your face but i just love the way daros de daros the director here does his films he's very stylish very chic and he's a very stylish director and for that I love the film because I think the film is a very stylish film so for that why not it's a classic a 10 star rating if you've never seen Deep Red sort in 1975 pick it up this DVD is brilliant it's been remastered 
you get two versions of it which is that version and that version that version is roughly the same so that there's a few extra scenes what weren't in the deep red one or you can get it combined by the same director here Dallas de Dallas damn good film later on the director as we know did the tacit Suspiria um Inferno Phenomenon you name it this director had a good record of good films and deep red is one of them so again 10 star rating into them i'll see you soon